Hello YouTube. So I'm going to be making a few uh, changes to how I have my network set up at home. And I've, drew, I've basically drawn this uh, diagram, almost like a network topology diagram to kind of show you guys how it's set up currently and how I'm going to make it work afterwards. So think of these squares here as different rooms because actually that's what they are. And so in particular, I'm looking at three different rooms here. And the one on top is the office. Uh, think of it as the office because it has a few extra stuff in there that the other rooms don't have. Uh, it has the wireless router in there. It has a network attached storage. And uh, it has a printer and a computer. And this room, um, actually it's not shown here, but the modems in this room as well. Uh, the modem and the uh, wireless router in this case are in one and it was provided to me by the, the internet service provider. And what I've done is I've used this Ethernet over coax adapter, or I'm not too sure what it would be called, um, to turn my Ethernet signal into, uh, transmit it basically through coax, since the coax line was already installed from this room going to this room. And so these two boxes here, allow me to uh, go ahead and transmit Ethernet data over the coax line and then it turns it back into Ethernet here and it goes into what is called a TiVo Mini. I'm not sure if you guys are uh, familiar with TiVo products but basically this is a TiVo Mini and um, it connects to the wa uh, router and it provides things like YouTube, Netflix, apps and stuff. However, um, this TiVo Mini also connects to this box, uh, this TiVo Romeo over here in this room. The TiVo Romeo is connected to the router wirelessly. And um, so the TiVo Mini and the TiVo Romeo are both connected to the router and they're both able to see each other on the network. And the way this works is the TiVo Romeo OTA stands for over the air, I believe. And what that means is it's getting uh, its channels or its video through this antenna. And what it allows me to do is record uh, shows and other things that are on TV onto the hard drive inside. And this TiVo Mini here that's connected to a different TV in a different room is able to also access that recorded data, that recorded video and play it on this TV. So these two rooms here are basically sharing the same programs and also the TiVo Mini you could watch live TV again it connects to the TiVo Romeo and it uses the antenna uh, video coming through the antenna to play live TV in this in this room as well so both of these rooms have live TV through this one antenna that's on top of the roof and um, I'm also able to record stuff the TiVo Mini is also able to record stuff. It basically tells the TiVo Romeo what to record and when to record it. So these two TVs, uh, basically whoever's watching them can can see everything that's happening in e either one of them uh, the same way. So that's the current setup with the TVs. Um, I have other devices in the house like laptop, tablets, phones, and so forth that people use. and. Uh, those are all wirelessly connected to, or wirelessly connect to the router here and get the internet through that. Uh, and this room here also there's a, a family computer or a computer that everyone uses and this one also is wirelessly connected to the router here. So that is the current setup. Now what what's happening is we are not receiving the channels we want through the antenna anymore. Uh, some of the channels we were watching have been um, basically removed from from the air and the only way to get it now is through paid subscriptions and so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna need to update the way we're receiving video and also update the network uh, along with the, with the way we're receiving the video so we need to get rid of the TiVo boxes the reason why is because if there's nothing to watch, there's nothing we need to record um, and, and so forth. So what I'm going to do 
uh, is go ahead and switch over to this ne next diagram I drew uh, I drew to kind of explain uh, what I'm gonna try to do over the next few days um, let me go ahead and switch over alright so this is how I'm going to set it up eventually uh, the wireless stuff stays wireless obviously um, the router and the modem that used to be in the room at the top here are now going to be moved to the room on the bottom left and the modem is separate the modem is going to be provided by the internet service provider and I'm going to have my own router and it's going to connect to that router in this room now this router if you were to physically look at it it's going to be right next to these two TVs these two TVs actually are in different rooms but share the same wall and so this router is going to be sitting right next to that wall and it's going to give these two TVs access to that router uh, wi uh, wired without the wireless um, now the reason I wanted I've set it up this way is because I want the router to be as close to these two TVs uh, as possible and uh, by not exactly the TVs uh, but these iBoxes right here that you see iBox is an actual is a subscription based uh, company uh, that provides uh, various different uh, international channels and they stream it through the internet and when I called them they said that they said megabytes but I'm assuming they meant megabits but it could be megabytes um, they, they say that each one of these boxes needs a dedicated six megabytes uh, of uh, ability of streaming ability to to watch the videos in high quality without any stuttering and so forth so we're gonna have two of these boxes one for each TV and they're not DVRs because uh, uh, the content is streaming so it's just on-demand content basically so what I'm gonna do is get these two i boxes to connect to the router uh, through Ethernet and this router is going to be a high quality router actually it's meant to handle a lot, a lot of uh, data uh, day in and day out and it's going to be directly connected to the modem um, so all these devices the modem the router and the iBox TV devices are all connected together through Ethernet data or Ethernet lines um, this is not a wireless router it's just a wired router and what I'm gonna do to make it wireless is connect this wireless access point to one of its ports and that's gonna give me the ability to also have wired uh, like this family computer and the tablets the phones and all that can now use the internet wirelessly through this access point uh, so this is gonna take up one port this is a five port router this is gonna take up one of the ports the two i boxes will take up the other two ports uh, so there's uh, two ports left. Uh, one of them will be through the connected uh, through the modem. So now there's one port left, and that one port will be used for the switch that goes into this room up here, the office room. So this switch then will go ahead and connect to the NAS, and it'll connect to the Ethernet printer, and it'll also connect to this workstation computer, which is what I use to record these videos and edit them and so forth and what I've decided to do is keep around the TiVo Mini um, the TiVo Mini is uh, even though it's not I'm not gonna be watching live TV on it or through the antenna or anything it's still good to watch for uh, it's still good to use for YouTube and Netflix and uh, various other apps that I might need in the future so I'm still gonna keep this around it's just gonna be directly connected to this TV and wirelessly to uh, this access point uh, so this is what I'm planning to eventually get to this to this uh, diagram here but currently this is where I'm at um, so let me go ahead and show you guys uh, what the what this router this switch and this router looks like I already ordered it and had arrived today and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what what it's all about alright guys so Here's the two items I received today. I got this uh, Netgear switch. Um, this was a pretty cheap switch. It was like 35 bucks. It's a unmanaged, just a regular switch. Um, important though is that it's gigabit 
Um, I'm using Cat6 wire throughout the house, so uh, hopefully the along with the gigabit uh, ports and all that, uh, I get a pretty quick and fast internet um, for all of my devices. So that's the switch that's going to go in the office room. And I also got this much more expensive item, the router. This is from a company called Ubiquity. Um, I can't see their name anywhere, but oh, there you go. Ubiquity. Um, and it's the Edge Router PoE. Uh, they have various different versions of routers. This one is a five port router. And uh, it's one of the more uh, advanced ones that they have. And uh, yeah, it does have PoE, which means power over ethernet, but I'm not really gonna be using the PoE, but it's there just in case I need it eventually. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and open this one up first. This one uh, wasn't wrapped or anything, so you just pull the cover off like that. And um, got a little manual and so forth, list of items inside. So here's the router, and um, pretty cool looking router. Uh, it's very regular. Um, there's the console here uh, for connection to, to configure it over the Ethernet. Uh, there is also uh, the five ports. I need to read up on it to understand exactly everything about it, but the gist of it is there's those five, five ports basically, and it probably has a power port. So yeah, there you go. There's the port for the power, 24, 48 volt DC, and um, you connect it to the ground through that if you're putting it in a case or something. There's also, let's see, Okay, so there's the power cable and the power supply. I believe it's probably going to be either 48 or 20. It's 48 volt output, 1.25 amps power supply. And so that's the router, and that's probably it. Yep, that's that. So put all this back. All right. Oh, look, I guess it also comes with a uh, mounting, uh, what is it called? Like screws and stuff to mount it on the wall, basically. That's that. This one, still wrapped up. Let's open it up. All right, so this one is the Netgear Gigabit Netgear switch. Hmm. How does it open? There you go. All right. Looks like it comes with a connection guide with parts list and all that. Here's the power adapter or power supply, I should say. I wonder what the output is on this. It's hard to see. It's 12 volts though. 12 volt, 0.5 amps output. And it's a nice little tiny switch. This one will go in the office so that it'll connect the rest of the devices to the, to the router. So there you go. So this has been part one of, I'm not sure how many parts to come. But this was just a quick introduction to the few items I've received and what I'm planning to do in the coming days. Thanks for watching.